I'm Brita Zimkus. I'm a biologist here at the Museum of Comparative Zoology. I'm a former EOL fellow. I am now a project manager for the cryogenic facility here at Harvard University. So I study African amphibians, mostly uh, small brown frogs, which includes going into the field and collecting them, taking them back into the lab, and doing uh, morphological analysis and DNA analysis. I'm mostly interested in patterns of diversification across Africa, and I use frogs as a group to study speciation and how animals have diversified across this landscape that's vast and includes many different types of habitats and ecologies. First, learning basic information about species will help us define areas that are important in the world for conservation. So if we don't have the basic information about species, then we really can't make any conservation decisions about them. Most of the areas that I go to are areas that have never been surveyed before for amphibians. So I'm often going into areas that are hard to get to and no one's been there before or no one's done any survey work before. So it usually requires multiple modes of transportation and a lot of uh, assistance from the local people. I love being in the field. It's really the best part of being a biologist. You're in a, an exciting area of the world and you're possibly finding things that are new to science. It's always challenging, but um, always worthwhile. It is exciting to find something new to science. You feel like you're adding information that will be useful in conservation, and it's exciting to be the first person to discover this. I found a, a few new species of puddle frog, Phrynobotrachus chukuchuku from uh, Cameroon, and that was a word from the local language. The first thing I do after I publish a new species is to put that information into the African Amphibian Life Desk so that my African colleagues and other researchers have the information so that they can go into the field and identify that frog. As a Rubenstein Fellow, my primary goal was to get the African Amphibian Life Desk up and running to begin inviting members and getting different uh, biologists involved in my project and my goal, which was to write almost 400 species pages for African amphibians. When I originally started, I said, well, I just have to write one species page a day. I can do that. And then I found out how difficult it was to make a comprehensive species page and include all that information from all these different sources. And it was maybe on week three, and I was already behind. And then I had a meeting with my mentor, and he was, you know, he was impressed at how many species pages I had already written but told me that the only way that I was going to reach my goal was to get collaborators and students to contribute. So it kind of was like a breakthrough when I realized I couldn't do it myself and I had to find other ways. And we put together a letter introducing the Life Desk after I had set it up and it was basically established. So we sent this email out to about 50 colleagues to just introduce the Life Desk, ask them to be members. So that was the first thing and we did get a lot of people to become members and then from there it's just been slowly um, making more contacts and people at that point were hearing about the life desk so people were approaching me and asking me if they could become a member so student participation was really important I had people from Harvard's herpetology class write some species pages and from there one of the students had such a good time writing the species pages he decided to be a summer intern I also had the Smithsonian advertise a internship position on their website, so I had multiple uh, interns remotely working for me. And then from there we would communicate via email and Skype, and they would do different projects for me, whether it was helping with the taxonomic classification or writing species pages or um, uploading photographs. Don't get discouraged. Let me know if you have any problems and we can chat um, people from all over the world were participating in the Life Desk. I think the most important word is collaboration and take help wherever you can get it. Whether it's a student who really is interested in what you're working on or there's a resource that's no longer under copyright and you can have a student help you upload it. There is a collaborator or colleague that might have hundreds of photographs that that person doesn't have the time to upload them themselves but they'll give them to you really take everything you can get from as many places as you can get it. There's definitely always room for contributions. I really do feel like having basic taxonomic information for species is really important. The 
African Amphibian Life Desk and EOL will never be finished. There'll always be room for contributions. We'll never know everything there is to know about a species. We can always add more information about behavior, ecology, morphology. I feel like being um, in control of this African Amphibian Life Desk and running it really has um, made me more well known in, in the community that I work in. So people now turn to me when they have questions or if they want to help. So it really has kind of leapt me up to another level that I wasn't at before.